Hello all, uh, welcome back to Norbert's Adventures and damn hasn't been a hot minute since I've seen you guys last. It's uh, been very busy on my end, um, including the fish room and everything else, but you know with the whole world the way it is, it's been uh, quite interesting trying to balance work life and the fish room, so you know, apologies for being a bit delayed with uh, a lot of this stuff, but you know, the whole work comes first thing to support the household. <laughs> But yeah, no, I just thought I'd uh, jump on today and have a big, you know, let you guys know what's going on in the fish room, what I plan to do going forward, and uh, obviously any updates for the last three months that I've missed out on talking to you guys about. Uh, so, you know, without further ado, we'll jump in. So yeah, I don't know where to begin really. So there's a couple of new projects in the works. Um, I've obviously picked up a couple of pairs of uh, long fin super reds, which have had a couple of batches. Um, I mixed them with my short fins, so they're uh, they're currently growing out. I'll show you here. Um, as you can see, got a tank there. We've got some long fins, some short fins. A bit dirty. I didn't clean it last night. But doing all right. Not the best sort of colour. Um, a bit of a dark. I don't know, it's hard to tell with these guys. It seems like there's a little bit of a black tinge coming out to the arse end of them, but I'm sure they'll be all right. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think I've ended up getting some um, L264 Sultan Plecos as well. So I grabbed four of them not too long ago. Still doing well, beautiful fish, love them, love them. Um, but yeah, they're probably about yay big, so they've still got ages to grow out. Uh, my L600s have been moved into a four foot tank now. Um, the last time I pulled them out, they were reasonably sized. Uh, now they're sharing a tank with a couple of male orange spot bristle nose and my long nose whip tails. Um, so they should be all right. Uh, since they've gone out of a four foot tank, I haven't been able to see them though. So, you know, usual. Put a pleco in a tank and spend, you know, how much money on them and they're like, disappear, gone can't see them again but you see them every now and then they're getting bigger so that's a good sign uh, I think a couple of my uh, guppies of bread since I've spoken to you last the ivory tigers and the king tigers I've had two batches of from them now uh, just gave Harley my mate from Seaford a uh, batch so a trio as well give him a new line to breed out um, I think obviously Brav from up north as well he's got a uh, couple as well I think he wants a couple of mine because apparently he's um, breeding so hopefully that line will be growing out soon um, a couple of lines I've dropped so I've dropped the ro uh, rainbow mosaics I've dropped the 24 karat German yellows um, my albino cobra kings um, still got a female but the male keeps dying I don't know what's going on there um, Topaz ribbons are growing really well. Had like 40 fry and just released them recently and it's gone from 40 to 20, so I think they ate some as usual. But, oh man, guppies are pain in the ass. They always eat each other. <laughs> can't really stop that unless you separate them and then separating causes stress, so you know, can't really win left, right and center. But yeah, so no, other than that, nothing really too new. Um, I've obviously, if you guys have been watching, I've been posting a lot about my uh, Royal Whiptails recently. Uh, I had a batch of them recently, still alive. It's like day seven, I'm pretty sure now, from them hatching. Still no issues. Um, still a bit worried about what I'm feeding them. Um, <clears throat> they're apparently lying there like green water. And they're uh, one of the things that grows on green water. But I've just ended up throwing a zucchini in the top, slices of the zucchini and some ambuli in the, the container and let it just kind of not, not rot pretty much. Um, which I'm hoping that's kind of the same thing. Um, I haven't had any issues so far. So I'm going to assume it's a good sign. I might have to replace it this uh, today, I think, because it's probably been about six days since I put it in there. So it's probably going to come out like confetti or mush when I do it. Um, but yeah, that was a big surprise. Uh, funny enough, that only come due to the fact that there is a massive water change here in Adelaide. Uh, they've moved away from using chlorine in the water, or should I say they're using, still using it, but they're adding chloramine now in the water. 
um, w which apparently has affected the pH. Uh, and I've had been having issues with uh, carbonate hardness and KH and stuff like that for the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to assume it's all to do with that. Uh, but within saying that, I had to muck around with the KH for a little while, bumped around with KH powder and stuff like that just to try to find things. Um, but you know, when you play with the chemistry of the water, things, some things can go good, some things go bad. So, you know, the Royal Whiptails spawned, yet yeah, 90% of my uh, neocaridina lines in those tanks have all dropped off. Um, I think it's just because the water's too hard. So, you know, a lot of my red reallys I've kind of lost as well. So I've had to start a brand new tank and move them separately to try get them going again because I've had issues, they've just dropped off. Um, I didn't think about it, to be honest. I'll put that down to uh, an error, but it happens. You gotta learn from these things and just keep going. So uh, obviously with the chloramine, chlor so chloramine and chlorine, uh, nothing has really changed for me. Um, I have to test the water today regarding the pH, apparently it's gone up to 8.4 pH or something like that. But uh, basically still doing the same old water change this ways and using prime and stuff like that. Uh, obviously a lot of people in LA didn't really know what was happening. Um, I've had a lot of messages about it. So hopefully I can figure it out and hopefully we don't have any issues going forward. But yeah, it was one of those things where it's like chloramine can cause issues like chlorine. So I'm hoping going forward, nothing happens, but yeah, time will tell. Going forward, obviously I'm gonna to have to start focusing on uh, certain lines a bit more. Um, a lot of the lines I've got now are all coming of age. Uh, my L397s have spawned. I've got two fry sitting in one of the tanks now. So they're of, of age. I think I've got a uh, colony of three males and five females, uh, last time I checked. And then you know, obviously with my L333s, I've got five pairs in one tank. So I'm gonna to have to start moving playing with it and finding the right balance, trying to get these guys to spawn and, you know, obviously start working for me. Um, uh, I'm getting a few more Corries coming in next year from uh, FNQ Corridoras. Um, I'll throw a link down below from him. He's helped me out and made new heaps. Um, I've got a couple of lines from him uh, in the last year. I if my F1 Grufius Corries I've got, they spawned recently as well. I only ended up with two, but I don't know where they've ended up now. I think they ended up passed away, but you know, they weren't exactly that old, but with his help, he's been able to help me out with a few things. So we'll do that. And uh, I've got a few, uh, some coral sand as well. I'm gonna start throwing in some tanks just to layer the bottom of the tanks for the Corries. Cause I've pretty much got Corries in every tank now. Um, you know, from the Sturbys all the way up to the F1 Accuses. Um, you know, I've got Pygmies, I've got Similes, I've got Herboruses, I've the whole lot. Shit, you know. Um, and then I got someone I know recently, she uh, made me some uh, spawning mops as well. Um, she tried to weigh out with uh, making tet spawning Black Widow Tetras. Um, and she's very handy with the making stuff, so I'm like, oh, you know, let's see how it goes, throw me one. So basically she just got a whole bunch of uh, wool and a sinker and tied it up and boom. You know, she's only got five of them, so we'll see how that goes with that. Because I know some quarries like laying in those, so we'll do some more research regarding some of the lines and we'll do it that way. Um, but yeah, no, it's the overall I've been extremely busy sending ships, you know, sending, I think with the zigzag caves I ended up getting, they've all gone. I had to order more, um, I'm getting more food in. Um, it's been a very, very busy, busy, busy couple of months. Um, you know, I need to start making a bit more time for the you guys and put out more information regarding things. So, you know, if you guys ever want to know, any about, know about anything um, or you want a specific video regarding a specific species or, you know, how I go about using a certain chemical or stuff like that, you know, let, let me know. Um, I'll try to do the best I can. I'll do some research about things and throw it up. But yeah, I've kind of dropped off shipping for the next couple of like month um, due to the fact that shipping is shit. Um, toll is expensive and uh, the delays are stupid. I think it took five days to ship last uh, week. Send it on Monday, got there Saturday. 
Um, luckily, I've been good, pretty good with my shipping and it's been all good, but yeah, man. Whoa. Uh, I just recently found out as well that there's no shipping coming out of America to Australia as well. That's including New Zealand, so a lot of the food and stuff that some people use, we're not going to be able to have much of coming soon, so we might have a bit of a shortage. Um, thankfully, I've topped up on a few things, but I'm hoping they sell out. Fingers crossed. But yeah, overall, uh, just basic update on the fish room. Nothing's really changing. Just kind of moving stuff around. Um, but again, I'd just like to thank everyone for the support over the last year. year. Um, kind of made this sort of YouTube thing to test the waters a bit, and I think I'm almost up to 150 subscribers now. So, you know, that's it's amazing for me. I wasn't expecting it. So, you know, thank you very much. Um, going forward, I'm going to try get more shit done and... Uh, post regular videos within that saying can't promise you anything because I'm always slack with something so you know see how it goes but uh, during Christmas I'll try to make some more videos and specific videos regarding certain things and we'll see how it goes alright so thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you next time <laughs>